Hello there. Welcome back to another full body HIIT workout session. I am your coach Rahul Shetty. All right guys, I see a lot of you been really regular with your workout session. I've been enjoying throughout the workout and also let's welcome all the beginners who's just getting started with their fitness level in today's workout. On that note, we will get started with a warm up or mobility. So what do we have today? We have four warm up movements. We're going to do each movement for about 30 seconds of two rounds. All right? And let's get started. For the first warm up movement, we're going to do cat camel. You're going to drop your palm below your shoulders, knees below your hip. Starting from here, you're going to round your spine. Give a nice stretch on your back. You're going to look up, arch your spine and give a nice stretch on your abdomen. All right? We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Just opening up a spine in three, two, one. Let's go. Thirty seconds. Just focus on rounding your back and also arching your spine. Now, while you're performing this movement, do not push your hip back. Your hip stays stable. All right. It is just your spine which does the movement. So keep going. Inhale, and you're gonna exhale. You're gonna inhale when you're performing the movement. You're gonna exhale when you're. completing the movement it is as simple as that just keep going you got few more seconds and we are done great work what do we have next we're going to do inch worm walk an amazing mobility move where i do it uh, with my personal workout that i follow you're going to place your feet just below your hip you're going to hinge at your hip as you hinge you feel that stretch happening on your hamstring all right so from here you're going to drop your fingertip on the floor you will walk forward into a high plank position stay there for a second activate your core you're going to walk back and you will stand up tall while you're performing this movement a common mistake that we all do moving your hip do not do that keep your core tight keep your hip stable and let's go push your hip back walk forward get into a nice high plank hold position stay there and you will walk back without moving your hip all right if you're doing it for the first time it is completely okay to move your hip because you need to build that stability you need to build that strength so that happens with consistency right you got few more seconds keep going maybe one more rep let's do one more rep come on good work and time And now moving on to the third movement we have world's greatest stretch another great movement to open up your entire body you will get into a nice high plank position from here you're going to bring one feet right outside your palm if you're finding it challenging you're going to drop the other knee on the floor and you will perform the movement all right if you want to make it challenging knees off the ground now whichever feet is in the front you're going to use the same hand to perform the movement my right leg is in the forward i'm going to use my right hand to perform the movement i'm going to bring my elbow as low as possible and give a nice rotation on my spine all right we're going to do this for about 15 seconds on each side yeah on my count let's go a nice rotation on your spine as you perform the movement keep going a great movement If you're struggling to perform this movement for the first time, it is completely fine. Even I struggled when I first did my world's greatest stretch, but as I kept doing it on a consistent basis, I started getting better with the movement. So remember, when you're performing any movement for the first time, your focus has to be only into learning the movement and then comes correcting the form, right? Because first comes your learning and then you progress. so that's the idea now moving on to the fourth movement we're going to do a deltoid circle which is going to help you activate your shoulders and also mobilize your shoulder joints you're going to keep your fingertips on your shoulder joints starting from here anti clockwise we're going to do 15 seconds and clockwise we're going to do 15 seconds all right engaging your shoulder joints and also activating your shoulder muscles in 3 to 1 let's go a big circle use more of your shoulder joints to perform the movement so that you know your joints are all activated that's the reason we always do mobilities right mobilities is always in terms of your joints and muscles getting that range of motion the other way good work come on 
a nice way to warm your body up before we move on to the main movements. We got few more seconds and time. Just shake off your arms. Moving on to the round number two, cat camel. Your palm below your shoulders, knees below your hip. In three, two, one, let's move. It's going to be a quick workout. So ensure we are not taking much of a break unless and until you are a beginner. All right. Unless and until you've given that break for your fitness routine. If you've been really consistent, do challenge yourself. Keep going. You got last 10 more seconds. One of my favorite movement that I do this every single day. Guys, see, it's all about basics, right? When you keep training the basics, you become, you master up your basics, right? You, you perform the movements with much more better posture and form. So that's the idea with learning these movements on a regular basis. Keep going. Inch warm walk. Remember the names. Always try to remember the movement names so that it becomes easier for you to remember the form, right? So when I say inch warm walk, you know, okay, now right now I'm supposed to hinge. Right, so the names is very important. As you work out, it is not just about getting the workout done, but also learning throughout the workout session. Keep going, stay there for a second. Walk back, stand up tall and strong. You got few more seconds, or oh, we are done. Moving on to world's greatest stretch into a high plank position. I'm gonna bring one leg forward, starting in three, two, one. Let's move. 15 seconds. See, in the second round, you feel that your body is opening up, right? Because in the first round, I, as I was performing, my elbow was not reaching the ground, right? Now, in the second round, the range is much more higher. That's the idea. That's the reason we always end up doing a lot of mobilities. And let's switch. Keep going. A great way to open up your body and to smash that main workout that we have. We got last few more seconds. And we are done. Good work. Moving on to deltoid circles. Fingertips on your shoulders. In three, two, one, let's go. A big circles. Just Maintain the tension on your shoulder joints as you perform them, right? You got the other way around. Nice way to get the warm-up done. You got 10 more seconds. Good job. Come on. Last few seconds to go. And we are done. Good work. Just shake off your arms. I'm sure there's some burn happening on your shoulders. It's completely fine. That's the burn that we are actually looking for, right? And now, what do we have? All right, guys. Make sure you have your water bottle and a towel close by throughout the session because this is going to be your 10 minutes AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P. So the meaning of AMRAP is as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes. All right, so that's the idea. So what do we have? We have three movements which is going to help you build stronger upper, stronger full body and also works on your speed your agility your stamina your cardiovascular your balance right so all of this so now the idea is we are going to do thrusters body weight thrusters if you have weight completely fine go with the weighted thrusters or you can do the body weight thrusters all right so what is thrusters thrusters is a full body movement so it's a combined of two movement you're going to squat and also you're going to press over your head. So that is the movement. I will show you how it's done. You're going to place your feet comfortably apart. Shoulder width stands. From here, you're going to assume that you're holding a heavy dumbbell on your shoulders. Alright? Do not lift your elbows way too high. Elbows dropping low. So from here, you're going to do a squat. You're going to come up and then drive the weight over your head. Alright? So uh, you need to make it look like a one single movement. Which is this right now the common mistake here is squatting coming up breaking the movement here and then pressing the weight up let's not do this if you're learning the movement it is completely fine because as i said it's going to take some time for you to get that hang of the movement right until then 
break it down it's completely fine but you've been re if you've been really regular then let's go for thrusters all right so this is going to be your first movement the second movement is going to be your jumping jacks so jumping jacks starting from here you're going to jump out bring your arms over your head jump in which is 1 2 3 4 a simple movement i'm sure you would have done this in the previous curl live workout sessions and now moving on to the third movement we're going to do a v crunches v crunches you're going to lift your feet up keep your knees softly bent from here you're going to try reaching your toes all right if you want to scale it down ankle in line with your knees and try reaching your heel yeah so i hope you are aware of all three movements now the idea here is to perform 12 thrusters 12 reps of thrusters 30 reps of jumping jacks 12 reps of v crunches all right so it's going to be 12 30 and 12 as i said it's going to be a 10 minute amrap as many rounds as possible for 10 minutes straight all right i'm sure we're going to burn a lot of calories as i said keep a water bottle and a towel close by let's get started in 10 seconds all right maybe the first round you can go with body weight if you're comfortable then add weight if you're more comfortable then increase the load of the weight but the idea is to keep moving for about 10 good minutes yeah with me let's motivate each other let's push each other and let's get this 10 minutes work done strong all right starting in 5 4 3 2 1 let's begin 10 minutes Th i'm rap thrusters 12 reps keep going 3 make it look like one single movement as you see me doing it i'm as i come up i'm throwing the weight over my head right keep going oh i lost my count here maybe i'm somewhere at the 8th rep good work keep going you got one more rep maybe i'll do one more extra rep so that there is that satisfaction of me doing 12 reps all right now moving on to jumping jacks starting in 3 2 1 let's begin 30 reps 3 4 5 i got 20 more do not get exhausted so just go slow moderate speed i got 15 more I think I have five more. And time. It's okay to go slow but try completing the reps, all right? Let's not cheat on those reps. If you feel that you haven't hit the 30th rep, maybe you can do few extra reps. Crunches. I got four more. and time wow that was a quick one round that we got moving on to round number 2 starting in 3 2 1 let's go stronger reps keep going a great movement to build full body strength and also as i said it helps you build that explosiveness and since you're working on that speed right you're also building that speed keep going three more reps squat one more come on and time who back to jumping jacks in 5 4 3 2 1 let's move twenty more come on Five rounds, minimum five rounds. Let's go, let's go. I got five more reps and time. Back to V crunches in three, two, one. Move. Halfway. Come 
Wow. I'm just gonna get a sip of water. Done with two rounds. We are up with three minutes, 30 seconds. Moving on to round number three. In three, two, one. Let's move. A full squat. Squat all the way down and then up. Six. Seven. Come on. Two more. And time. Good one. Back to jumping jacks. In three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen more. I'm so focused in terms of counting my reps. Keep going, come on. We got this. I think I got eight more. Time. Back to V crunches. Three, two, one. Let's go. One last hand time. Ooh. Up with three rounds. Come on. We are halfway through. We're done with five minutes. Back to thrusters. In three, two, one. Move. Round number four. Six. Two more. Wow, great work. Jumping jacks in five, four, three, two, one. Let's move. Halfway, another halfway to go. Great. I think I have five more. No cheating on your reps. And time. Back to V crunches. In three, two, one. Move. Up with Four rounds, a quick sip of water. Thrusters, in three, two, one. Let's go, I'm at round number five. Four more. And time. Back to jumping jacks. In three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen. Come on. Ten more. One more time. Back to V crunches. In three, two, one, go. Whew. Round number six. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's move. We are up with eight minutes. Two more. One more. Time. 
Jumping jacks. Wow. In three, two, one. Let's go. Fourteen. Fifteen. Come on, halfway. Ten more, ten more. Push. Time. Crunches. Three, two, one. Let's go. Four more. Twelve. Back to thrusters. We are up with nine minutes till the last second. Let's move. Ten, eleven, two more, eleven, twelve, jumping jacks. Come on. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, and we are done. Wow. Ten minutes. I'm sure that was much effective with the movements, with the speed that we have done. Great efforts. Great work. Just relax for about thirty seconds, maybe. We have one quick ward to finish, and then we are done. All right. So I'm giving you that sixty seconds break. Use it well. Get some water. If you're really exhausted, I'm sure at least a little bit of exhausted are there, right? Hold on. Wow, I am exhausted. Not up to that, but also yeah, I can feel it. That is the idea. So about showing up, getting it done, and ensuring that you're staying consistent with a moderate intensity, light in intensity, high intensity doesn't matter. Unless until you show up, get the work done. Now moving on, walk with workout two. We just have two movements. We have high knees, all right, which is you're going to lift your knee. And swing your arms. You're gonna do this for 20 seconds. And beast hold. Palm below your shoulders. Knees below your hip. Knees off the ground. You're just gonna hold. You're gonna do this for about 20 seconds. Two quick rounds. We are done. All right. High knees. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. 15 more seconds. Just two rounds. Got last ten more seconds. Few more there. Come on. And time. Back to beast hold. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. If you're comfortable, now you're gonna add taps on your shoulders. Okay, ten more seconds. Come on. Few more seconds to go. Avoid moving your hip as you do the tap. Back to high knees. In five, four, three, two, one. Move. Last round. Come on. Fifteen more. Ten more. Move. Come on, let's go, let's go. Don't stop. I can see one of you is stopping. Move. I'm not stopping because you're not. And time. Wow. Back to beast hold. In five, four, three, two, one. Move. Add taps.
We got this. We got 10 more seconds. We got the last five. Time. Great job. Good efforts team. Excellent performance. Just hold on for about 30 seconds and we will move on to the stretches. Good efforts. Wow. That was quick and super effective. All right. Moving on to hamstring stretch. 30 seconds each stretch. We're going to do a seated hamstring stretch. Extend your feet, toes towards you. Hold your, reach out to your toes. Keep your elbows bent. Hold for 30 seconds. If you're not able to reach your toes, hold your ankle or just extension is also good to go. All you need to ensure is feeling that stretch on your hamstring. Halfway. Good job. Stay there. We got this. Got the last few more seconds. And time. Quad stretch. I'm gonna take one leg at the back, drop both your elbows, hold on. 20 seconds on each side. Much needed quad stretch. Stay there. We got the last 10 more seconds. Last few seconds there and we are done. Switch side on the other side. Three to one. Let's go. Hold on. We got ten more seconds. Few more seconds there. And time. Moving on to Cobra. You're going to lie down on your back. Sorry, on your chest. Palm beside your chest. Elbows tucked in. Bring your elbows close to your body. From the scoop up, roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your glutes and hold. 30 seconds. Stay there. Breathe, relax, let your heart rate come back to normal. Let your muscles start relaxing. Right, you got a few more seconds. And time. Moving on to one last stretch. We're going to do a shoulder stretch. You're going to take one arm at the back. Bring your head towards your opposite side. Feel that stretch on your shoulders. Make sure your palm stays on the middle of your spine. Alright? Hold. 10 seconds on each side. Just breathe, just relax. Almost there. Few more seconds to finish off. And now, we're going to switch side. On the other side. Hold on. Almost there. Few more seconds. And change. You're gonna look up. Push through your thumb. Hold. Oh, this feels so relaxing. You're gonna use your fingertips. Just bring your head down and hold. And relax. Great job, team. Good efforts in today's workout session. All right, guys. So, you know how what we did in today's workout. We did an AMRAP, right? So, guys, what I want you to do is, I want you to try out the session and tag me on how many rounds that you got done in 10 minutes of AMRAP. All right? 
my handle is get fit with shetty and on that note i am going to end this workout session do let us know on how you found this workout session on our facebook community stronger together with calfit home and guys ensure that you stay hydrated you recover strong for your upcoming workout sessions and remember i always keep saying this stronger together for sure together right and take care i will see you in the next session bye bye more such workout videos download the calfit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult